So a question we get asked is, are these Bedliner products fuel resistant? Now it's a concern if you're touring or you've got a ute or a truck and you're gonna spill fuel or have fuel in there with your dirt bikes, whatever it is, if the fuel goes on the paint finish, is it gonna to turn to liquid? Is it gonna blister? Is it gonna separate? So we're gonna put it to the test. We've got some fuel here. We'll go ahead and we'll pour this in the back. We'll let it sit and then we'll take a look at it. Now there's probably two tests here where we'll check the resistance initially now where we can scratch at it. The paint's still good, it's still hard, nothing's moved. We'll let that dry right out. But if we let this totally evaporate and see if it gets underneath, I suppose that's a real test. So you can see the fuel on this side, this is the bully, has evaporated. Now, I can scratch that with my fingers and it's still dry, it's still solid, it hasn't separated. I suppose the concern is, is this going to bubble up like if you put paint stripper on it? And the answer is no. So I would say this is fuel resistant. Now we've got the Raptor over there, we'll go have a scratch around on that. So over here on our Raptor, same deal, you can see where the fuel is. If I scratch it, nothing, still solid. So, I guess conclusive, both paint coatings are fuel resistant.